Hi, it's Rosemary Bradison, the Scientific Mystic, here with your inspirational video for the weekly Muse letter. I want to ask you this week, what stories are you telling yourself about yourself that you're believing that might not be the truth, with a capital T? We all do this. We tell ourselves stories. A lot of them are based on things that other people have said, either about us or about the way things are or about life, especially about what we can and can't do and who we can and can't be in the world. So what stories do you hear going through your mind? People sometimes call them the old tapes that are playing. But I think it's more the stories we tell ourselves when we try to make sense of something that happened or a way we interacted with a person when we look at a relationship or a job or something in our life that's not going well we create this drama we create the story saying this is the reality and yet we might be making up a story that's not really true and what I find when I work with individual clients most of the time what they have denied is not bad stuff about themselves. It's the powerful things, the power they have, the good stuff, the light, how big they need to play, and what they believe is a story about how small they need to stay. And so I want you to look at your stories through the lens of, am I afraid of how big I'm supposed to play? And so I choose to stay small, play small because of my fear? And am I telling myself a story that's not true so that I can continue to play small in my life, in my business, in my career, in my relationships? Really ask yourself, what's the story that you tell yourself? And then see if you can write the story you want to tell yourself. And the more you focus on that story, the more you'll believe it. This is Rosemary Bradison at thescientificmystic.com, and I hope you're joining us for the Monday night Wisdom of the Week call, free call. The WOW call is on Monday at 8.30 Eastern Time. And tonight, on Friday, December 7th, is a conversation with the other side online. If you haven't signed up, there are still a couple of places left, so go to the website, thescientificmystic.com. Take care. Have a great week. Rosemary Bradison, The Scientific Mystic, saying bye now.